Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel and blog. And for today's video, doing another Valentine themed card, combining it with this week's Color Throwdown Challenge. And I am using the Lawn Fawn I Love Eucalyptus stamp set, this little mini set that I had shown in a haul video months ago. Um, cute little images and the koala was like, oh, koalas are gray, that's perfect for the color challenge. So I'm just stamping the images onto some Nina Classic Crest 80 pound solar white cardstock using Ink on Three's Blackout Ink. And I stamped the koala and then I stamped this little like eucalyptus branch basically. Um, that I stamped multiple times. And then the little outline heart in the set, I decided to stamp that a few times as well. And then once I have everything stamped, I'm gonna get to coloring them all in with my Copic markers. Really simple coloring using cool grays for the koala going from just darkest to lightest. So just adding in the darkest color and then I just blend everything out as I go along. Finding this just, this just has become my go-to pretty much all the time now when I do use Copic markers. So again, keeping the coloring pretty simple. I like to use the 80 pound cardstock for most of my Copic coloring. If you're new to Copic markers or just alcohol markers in general, um, a lot of times you'll find that the 110 pound version of this cardstock works a little bit better for you because it gives you a little bit more leeway. It, do, it soaks up a little bit more so it doesn't bleed out as much. So I start when I first started Copic coloring, gosh, it's been like 12, 13 years now. I preferred thicker cardstock because I just found I would, when I'd start blending and all that, I would just have, the color would just seep out past the stamped lines and make such a mess. But then the more comfortable I got with it and the more used to the markers I got, etc., more practice, 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 practice. Um, I prefer the 80 pound and I use that most of the time. Um, I only use heavier weights sometimes. It just depends. It just, it depends on my mood, depends on what I'm creating, all that stuff. But this is definitely one of the best card stocks for Copa coloring. And I link to it along with everything else. So anyway, did all my coloring and listed the colors there on the screen that I had used. And then I went in with my white gel pen and I added like highlights to his eyes and nose and then I just use a little flicking motion to kind of give the illusion of fur. So I did that all over his little body just kind of going in the direction you the fur normally would kind of grow. And then I just added simple little highlights to like the leaves and stems and to the hearts and then I die cut them with the coordinating little die set. So once those are die cut set those aside I'm going to stamp and heat emboss all the sentiments at once and I'm literally using like three different stamp sets. I'm using that same I love eucalyptus set for the main part of the sentiment because I just think it's cute. And then I'm also using um, a Happy Valentine's Day sentiment from the Happy 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 add-ons. And then the actual happy word is from the Happy 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 stamp set. <laughs> Again, everything will be like listed and linked with the supplies. And I'm also using the perfectly plaid chill pattern paper from Lawn Fawn that I've had forever that I have used. I've used it multiple times. Um, this is one of my favorites and I was surprised. I, for some reason, I thought it wasn't available anymore and I was so sad. And then I went through, like looked online. And I was like, oh, it is still available. Okay, perfect. Because the blue was perfect for this color challenge as well. So I stamped the word happy onto that. And then um, everything else was stamped onto black cardstock with um, clear embossing ink and then heat embossed with a detail white embossing powder. I die cut the smaller sentiments on the black cardstock with one of the Simon Says Stamp um, sentiment label wafer dies. And then the happy was die cut with its coordinating little outline die. So with all of these sentiments, I'm just trimming off the ends using my paper trimmer. I mentioned this in a previous video. I just hold it where the little plastic buffer is there, like to hold down the cardstock and protect your fingers. I just hold it with that. And then I just kind of tap the heel of my hand against the actual arm of the guillotine trimmer and it just trims it off perfectly. I can die or trim down the tiniest little sentiments with this. So I trimmed all those down. And then for the actual like card front, I had taken that same blue pattern paper. I die cut it with a stitch rectangle die and then I'd use one of the Lawn Fawn reverse stitched scallop circle windows. Really long names, but these are really great. I really like how they have, they do, literally do that reverse, but you have the scallop and the stitch line. It just, I really like that. It just frames your images. So I die cut that blue pattern paper with that. 
And then I also used the birch trees wafer die and die cut some gray cardstock because I was like, oh, he, he needs somewhere to sit. So I die cut a couple of those. I'm just taping them to the back of the paper with washi tape because you're not going to see it. Just adhered it in place really easy. And then I'm going to start kind of figuring out all of the rest of my layout and whatnot. So I also ran some heavyweight white cardstock through with the XOXOXO line border. Just thought I'd kind of add that to my little scene here. So I just used little dabs of Lawn Fawn's um, glue tube. I had people asking me about this because I've used um, the Gina K Connect glue. I really, really like it. Then Lawn Fawn came up with one. Studio Katya has a glue tube. They're all very similar. All three are great. I, um, I recommend any of them. Whatever you're able to get your hands on, they're great. I also use Simon's Craft Tacky glue a ton. Really love that glue. So all these glues are great. All these companies are great. It's kind of hard to, you know, promote everyone, <laughs> but they're all great. So whatever is easiest for you to get your hands on, all these adhesives are amazing and they all work amazing. And I have zero complaints with any of them. So for this one, since I already, you know, I was using like Lawn Fawn everything. So I was like, oh, I'll use Lawn Fawn's glue too. So it worked fabulous. So I adhered that line border and then trimmed off the rest of the line with scissors. And then I adhered all that pattern paper to just some green cardstock that I had trimmed down to slightly larger than the pattern paper. So it had a nice little frame. And then the koala and just everything I adhered just straight onto my little scene here with the glue, just kind of tucking all those little branches in, you know, he's just hanging out and having a snack. So I adhered all of that. And then the actual sentiments I'm also just adhering. This is basically an almost completely flat card, which for me is not always the norm. You know, I'm just, it's a habit to pop everything up with foam tape, but I was, I don't know. I was just in the mood to see how you know, how this would look if I adhered everything flat and it worked. It turned out really cute. It would look adorable too if you pop things up with foam tape and added that dimension. But this is very flat, very mailable. So adhered everything flat to the card base and then decided to have him holding one of those little blue hearts. And then the second one I just stuck onto the, like around the sentiments. And I'm going to save the third one for the inside of the card. So once I've got kind of everything adhered here, my card base is more heavyweight white cardstock. Um, I get asked that a lot what I use for my card bases. I use Simon Says Stamps 120 pound cardstock for my card bases. I absolutely love it because it's so smooth and it is heavy. Another option is the Nina 110 pound because you can kind of multitask with that because it works great for Copic coloring. This actually works good with Copics as well. But again, I just like the lighter weight. But yeah, Simon's 120 pound is amazing cardstock. I use that for all my card bases. I link to it in all my description boxes pretty much. Um, and that's what I use for the XOXO die cut as well. But Nina's 110 is also great. The Nina 80, I think is too light. I don't like that for card bases. I like a good heavy weight, you know, it gives it that nice feel and quality. So that was my card base, which is A2 size. So four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I adhered my Happy Valentine's Day on the inside of the card. And then that third little heart just to, you know, finish it all off. So I got that adhered. And then as a final little bit of embellishment, I grabbed some um, Limeade Sprinkles from Doodlebug. The dark green in the pack was perfect. I'm almost out of these. <laughs> it's like, you just get that itch. It's like, I need to order more. Um, so I adhered a few of those just to kind of tie it all together. And then I decided this whole time, like there's a couple spots. I just didn't like how the highlights were looking on his little eyes and nose. So instead I actually went over his eyes, nose and mouth with my Jelly Roll black glaze pen. So it just gives it, you know, that really deep black shiny effect that really kind of emphasizes his little face. So I just added that and that finished off the card. So as always, I'll have links below the video to my blog post. I'll have a link to the color challenge. I'll have a supply list with links to everything. So you can check that out in the description box below the video as well as on my blog, which is also linked right below. So you can check that out if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.